Oh hey there guys, this is my in-depth, in-detail prediction for the Devon vs. Robbie E match for the Television Championship at TNA's Lockdown event this Sunday. This is WWE 12 gameplay, Steel Cage match. There's no Robbie T here. Uh, for those who haven't watched TNA in a while, Robbie T is Rob Terry, his nickname I guess, or his new TNA name. So yeah, you can't have managers when you're playing steel cage matches in WWE 12 so uh, no Robbie T but anyways I don't even have a creative character of Rob Terry so yeah anyways so this match is for the television championship and uh, this is the first time actually we see both these guys since Victory Road ever since Victory Road when Robbie lost his television championship in an open challenge match uh, where Devon entered that challenge and won the championship. We haven't seen Devon on TV. Uh, we've only seen, you know, highlights of him winning the match on pay-per-view. And that was, uh, that wasn't even a highlight video, I think. That was only a, you know, those highlights where they be just show pictures of the match. And as far as Robbie T goes, I mean, Robbie E goes, we haven't seen him at all, so... We haven't seen either of those guys. And the funny thing is, this championship is called the Television Championship. So you'd assume this guy would be, you know, on TV on a regular basis, or even, uh, to some degree, defending that title on a regular basis on TV, on television. But no, <laughs> it's been like three, four weeks now that we haven't seen Devon. Uh, but anyways, you know, Devon is a face for those who don't know, and Robbie E is the heel. And when it comes to this match, you know, I think Devon is going to win. There's no doubt in my mind that Devon's going to retain here. I mean, he just won the championship at Victory Road. He hasn't had time to, you know, they haven't had time, I guess, to establish Devon as a champion or anything like that. He hasn't had any matches or anything. Like I said, none of these, you know, both these guys haven't appeared on television. So it's way too soon, I think, for Devon to lose. And, it, you know, if, like, what's the point of having Devon? lose the championship I mean win the championship at Victory Road and then lose it after not appearing for a couple of weeks on TV you know ever since winning the title and as far as Robbie E goes uh, I think it's time it might be time for a gimmick change you see this Robbie E character started off when uh, you know Jersey Shore started kind of um, they, they kind of capitalized or tried to um, capitalize on you know the whole popularity of the Jersey Shore the thing is as far as I know there's no plans um, for another season for a sixth season so as of now Jersey Shore is over you know unless they do another season but I don't think it's been announced or anything like that so you know with no Jersey Shore you know uh, will Robbie e still remain with the same gimmick I don't know See, the thing is, uh, some people might say, well, Zack Ryder, his gimmick is kind of, uh, you know, a copy or rip-off of Jersey Shore. No, not at all, actually. Zack Ryder, uh, his current gimmick started before the Jersey Shore era. So Zack Ryder's current character gimmick was never, you know, a copy of the Jersey Shore or the guys in the Jersey Shore because, you know, it started before that show. And the only thing really he took off of that, I guess would be the fist pumping but you know that's a little thing and uh you know when it comes to Zack Ryder Zack Ryder is over with the crowd hugely over as far as Robbie goes not so much so <laughs> you know I support Zack Ryder's gimmick and as far as Robbie goes well eh, you know uh, it's okay I guess uh I will say this you know ever since he added Rob Terry you know, Robbie E now, uh, I mean, known as Robbie T now, as his manager, I've, um, I've liked him a bit more, I like the whole, uh, Robbie T as a bodyguard, and, you know, the whole list thing where he has this list of people that can enter the ring, or enter the gate, or whatever, and he opens up the gates, uh, for freaking, uh, Robbie, Robbie E to enter, and, uh, you know, as far as Devon goes, well, you know, D1 is actually very over with the crowd, you know, as a face, as a singles competitor. He actually got a very big pop when he won that championship off of Robbie E. You know, they should put him on TV, actually, and put the champ on TV. Uh, give him a storyline, give him somebody to feud with on TV. You know, uh, 
I thought, you know, once he'd won, he'd win that championship, you know, uh, when he won the TV championship at Victory Road, that we'd have, you know, an actual feud with Devon versus maybe Robbie E would be looking to get his rematch. I mean, he's getting his rematch, you know, at lockdown, but there's no, there was no build up to it or anything like that. There was no Robbie demanding a rematch on the microphone or anything like that. It's just a match put together like that. But anyways, bottom line, I'm pretty sure d is going to retain his championship at Lockdown this Sunday, as you can see in my gameplay. I'd really be surprised if Robbie ends up retaining that championship, or regaining that championship against d -Von. And as you can see, I gave d the ECW championship, and I don't know why it's going like through his tank toppers, tank toppers going through the belts. I don't know. But uh, yeah, giving the ECW championship, I'm just giving him you know, a title you know, to, uh, I guess, represent that it's a title match. I know it's not the TV championship, but hey, you can't have a TV. There's no TV championship in WWE 12. Hopefully, in, you know, next year's game, you have a create a championship uh, mode. So we can actually create TNA titles. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm out. See ya.